back in the studio today. And we haven't been putting out very many videos lately. Um, most of my time has been concentrating on the increase, the overwhelming increase, in the players locally, in our league, in our tournaments, and all those things. I've been really putting a lot of work into helping Danielle out, out at Cooley Cards and Gaming and things like that. So, my health being as crazy as it's been, doing okay, but it takes a toll on me. So our videos have been lacking a little bit, but we are here today. We are here making a video, and this video is going to be brought to you by, of course, the sponsors of the channel, Cooley Cards and Gaming. Great, best deals around. You can find everything you need at Cooley Cards and Gaming for all your card needs, all your sports memorabilia, and a whole lot more. I highly recommend Cooley Cards and Gaming. And of course, our favorite place to play in Sparta, Wisconsin, Gamer Sanctum. Tim and the gang have all your gaming needs, whether it be Dungeons and Dragons or Orcana or uh, miniatures, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic. They got it all. Tell them the barbecue man sent you, and they'll you'll, they'll hook you up. So this time when I record, I'm going to switch the camera because I didn't do that last time. So now we're on that camera, and there is our TCG live. <laughs> yeah. So I've recorded three games. One of them glitched out fiercely. And I'm going to hang on to that copy. Maybe I'll put it out as like a blooper reel. Because you guys can't see it anyway. But <laughs> I got into the match with a Charizard deck. And I couldn't play a card. I couldn't play a supporter. I think I could have won. Not really sure, but I would have had a chance. Once I couldn't do anything, I obviously had no chance. <laughs> anyway, Andrew at our local league was playing this deck last Sunday. I thought it was pretty cool. So I figured I'd show it to you. See what I think. And now this isn't working. Huh. There we go. Alright. Let's take a look. Our primary guy is going to be this Espathra EX card. I think that comes out of Paradox Rift, if I'm not mistaken. That's why I call this deck the Blue Ostrich, even though he terrestrializes into grass. Or Purple Ostrich. He's a Purple Ostrich. Um, really kind of a fun card. Uh, hit points aren't that great. He's a little small, a little soft. But as long as he's active, they have to add an extra energy to be able to attack. If they're a basic Pokemon, right? Nope. It says, as long as this Pokemon is active, attacks used by your opponent's active cost one more energy. That's cool, right? Because if you can make them use more energy, especially since the Cyball does 30 plus 30 for each active, pretty good. Of course, we got our little Flittle. And I picked this one because it's got 50 HP. Really doesn't make any difference when you're that little. Mana feed to help protect the bench in case they got... Gringer early on. Mewix is our backup attacker. He's also got the restart. Give us a little bit of extra draw sometimes when we need it. The Natu and the Zatu. Clairvoyant Sense is really cool. Helps you get a couple extra cards in play. And if you're Esperatha, you're going to be needing some extra energies to do a little bit bigger attack. Well, you can attach an extra basic psychic po energy to one of your bench guys. So, you know, there he is. And if we get desperate and need a bench attacker or a single prize attacker, we got him. You guys know what that card does. It's one of the best cards in the game. Counter catcher, because we're probably going to be behind a lot. Playing from behind. So we got a couple of those. This can be really fun. Now, in the match you didn't get to see... The one that glitched out on me. I have another card in this deck that would, would have made this card huge. I had that Charizard up front. I had two energies on it. Couldn't attack me because they needed four. And I'll show you why in a minute. So they attached a double turbo and KO'd me. Or didn't KO me, but almost did. If I could have crushing hammered one of the fire energies away, I had the Giovanni's Charisma in my hand. And you'll see that card in a minute. See what it does. But I could have taken away three of their energies, and they would have been stuck. 
Of course, that card's great for getting the supporters that we need. Super Rod to get a couple things back. Switch to move guys around. Ultra Ball, get guys. League Headquarters. I had one of these in play. And I had an Aspathra in front. They would have needed four energies to attack. So they attached that double turbo and hit me. Crushing Hammer takes one of those energies away. Giovanni takes another. They're stuck. Harvin to get tools. There's the Giovanni. Now take a close look at that. Put an energy from your opponent's active into their hand. If you do that, you get to attach an extra energy from your hand to your guy. Why the heck not? You know what Iono does? Disrupts their hand and helps build yours. Rigid Ban. Stage 1 takes 30 less from attacks. Great card. Probably going to try to find room for more. Because if I use 3 of Spothers, I really need 3 of these so they can't one-shot me as easily. Evolution. If you get this turn 1, and you use your Battle BIP pass to get your basic guys down, and evolve two of them right away, that's great. And if we play 12 energies, I believe. So that's our deck. We had a couple, we had a good game that we won, a good game that we lost, and then we had the glitch come up and make me realize I was using the wrong camera. So you guys didn't even get to see any of it, so you won't ever see that video. But we have this one now, and we're gonna give it another try. Hopefully this dumb thing isn't glitched out again. There we go. I know we haven't won a coin flip yet. <clears throat> That's okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world if they go first. And we can get nothing. We can get nothing like that. If we can get a flittle up front, battle VIP pass to get a couple more guys down. Yeah, we know what we did. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Probably Roaring Moon? Maybe? Get up there. Um. Oh, this is going to be uh, Zoroark with Dodrio. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, if we can get these guys going and get that Evoluter, I might have to put another Evoluter in there. No, it's Tyranitar. Oh, very cool. This should be neat. I like this deck. This should be pretty good. Pidgey too? Mm. Okay. I'll get to where we're going if we get a boss. Or when I get him up there. Mm -hmm. So they put a Luminous Energy on. That's fine. We're going to try to get rid of that. Make sure they gotta pay more energy. Bye energy. So that should slow them down for a little while. We don't have a whole heck of a lot going on. We do have Miu in play. So if we can get an Ultra Ball. Is that the Evoluter? Woo, baby! That's the card we wanted. Takes two energies to play Evolution? Because I put the damn stadium down. Are you serious? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> I suckered myself into that one. <laughs> yep. There's the, there's the big boy. <laughs> damn it. 
Oh, don't ever do that. Keep that in your hand. <laughs> oh, that was nice. I got to research. Got a rare candy Pidgeot. Nope, they're going to start drawing cards with that. With that. I like the Dodrio. I really do, gang. And I see where they're going with this, and it works great with the Tyra Hatch Fire. It's a really good idea. I'm not going to lie. All right, we got to figure out a way to get... Well, then they... Well, of course, you take my stadium, we have Big Meanie. <laughs> Yeah, we might as well try that too. Oh, we got a rigid band. So let's play the crushing hammer. Try to take their energy away again. We can keep them slowed down for a little. There you go. That's it. We got it. Bye now. See you, energy. If we can keep doing that for a while, you never know. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, pardon me. We'll get another flittle just cuz. We'll play the rigid band just cuz. We'll play the energy just cuz. Yeah, we'll put it over there. Sure. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Well, hey, we got the other evoluter. So that means, hey, oh, he's already got a damn tool. All right, we'll retreat him then. That's fine. We'll put this one up there. We'll retreat this guy. Now we'll use the evoluter. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Yeah, choose up the two. We'll want that one. Oh, two benched Pokemon. Okay, so we'll choose that one. That one. Okay. Yep, that's what we want to do, buddy. There you go. We're on the board. We got our guys. We're really tripping our way through this match. I'll guarantee you that. <laughs> Not good. Ah, oh, they got three Dodrios now. Or Dudo. Do Dodo. Do yeah. There we go. One of them. We need to start drawing some cards, y'all. Really? Path to the peak? Oh my gosh. And they got another... Oh, look at them just throwing away supporters. We got so many supporters on the other side of the field. They're just throw them away. <laughs> That's all right. Well, I'm have their fun. Did they get the other one? Did they get him? Oh. They like lots of birds. I'm going after lots of birds. I don't get what the purpose of all that was. Huh. Well, the good news is I don't need a crushing hammer. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to throw away the energy. And I'm going to hope I can draw a little something. I can't use him. That's right. They have path to the peak. Well, let's start whittling down their army of three-headed birds. These are raw pants, and they're good. 
Yeah, dry. Another two charm. Good thing you can't use quick search. <laughs> If it was me, I'd play either Path of the Peak or uh, Pidgeot. And they're making the little crumb peckers a little bit easier for me to hit. But that's fine. Really? You're a jerk. <laughs> well, you better get me something, Pokey Gear. I don't know it's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Giovanni's charisma would be funnier. They don't have any energy on them, neither do I have it in my hand. So, we're gonna go that way. Well, that was terrible. Hmm. We need to draw a stadium card, y'all. Really do. This game is going nowhere fast. And it's going to take me a long time to pound down those granitars. A very long time. Probably should have grabbed a bat too last turn. Hey. Okay. I think that would have been a good idea. If we have two energies, then we could have drawn twice. Hmm. Sure. Be my guest. I got no problem with that. <laughs> Give me something better. That's not a lot better. It's marginally better. And who eats margin? They got another Tyranitar, but they only have one energy. So our job is to get rid of that stupid path to the peak. We gotta get rid of that stadium. But unfortunately, that'll allow them to use Pidgeot. But if we can get rid of that stadium with our own. We need a crushing hammer too now. Hmm. Well, we've used two crushing hammers. We got three energies in the discard pile. So let's stupid rod. Might as well use those. I'll use this guy. Put an energy on Mew. We still can't draw what we want. <coughs> huh. Spartha goes out. I don't know if I want to research because I have two Iono I have to throw away. Ah. Come on. Give me some cards I can use. Still no stadium.
still no stadium card. They're able to shut me down because they have that dang stadium gun. I can't do any of my stuff. And I play three copies. I've used one. Huh. Well, the good news is, is they're going to have to commit another energy to me. Or to knock me out. Hmm. Forgive me if this phone's doing weird things. Alright, let's try that. See what they're gonna do. They're gonna have to play a second energy down to knock me out. And they're gonna do that. So we have to really hit some good draws, gang. What? Holy crap. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. I don't understand what's taking them so long. There's not that many things to do. You've used your Dodrios. You've attached an energy. You've got a bunch of cards in your hand. Maybe they're having the same glitch that I had earlier. I don't know. They are. Well, one big problem is we don't have an energy. We need an energy to be able to use that too. We don't have any. So we're just having to swing it. Man, that frog is annoying. I get a funny feeling that they have glitched out. And that is unfortunate. Why? Speaking of glitching out, oh. This is really odd. There's some weird stuff going on on WhatsApp. I don't know what's going on here, but I am going to delete. Whatever the heck's going on here with this person named Daryl. I have no idea what's going on. I do not want to. Did they just pass again? Yeah. They're glitched. Need an energy or two. Didn't get any. Got the stadium finally. I guess we'll KO that dude. I don't know what's going on on here. Gang, if you use WhatsApp, please check your things going on because there's something really screwy going on in here. I'm being added to groups I've never heard of. I didn't knock the Tyranitar out? How does that work? Yeah, my opponent... So my opponent obviously glitched out. We've seen that before. What is going on here? Well, we can't get in the games that we wanted to get in today because, number one, I forgot the camera. Number two, my game glitched out. Now their game glitched out. 
So we're going to try again, I guess, and see what happens. I'm, I, I, I apologize. This is kind of messed up. I'm turning the frogs off in case this stuff continues. I don't mind if it goes off once while I'm recording, but that thing is going off like, you know, it's springtime in Kermit Central, you know. It's, can't have that. You know, we're going we're gonna to lose the coin flip anyway. It's going to be heads, so I'm taking tails. And it's heads. <laughs> oh, for six? Yeah, whatever. That's fine. You go right ahead and go first. See if I care. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a we got a little guy. We got little. So the good news is, is we've got some stuff going on that we can actually um, you take advantage of the Arvin this turn. So we're looking forward to that. And then we're going up against Lost Box. Okay. So this could be a challenge. We got to get out of the gates hurried, go gang, because that that darn lost box. Yeah. And they have the Greninja too. Go ahead, Manaphy. We will be calling upon your services. I was really hoping to take evolution. Evolution. TM. Oh, of course they have that. And now they, yeah, well, there you go. There we go, 65 flower selecting. It's turn two, they're going to have 18 cards in the lost zone and be able to do everything they want to do. They only got one, didn't they? We got two. Okay. Well. Hmm. I really have to take a battle VIP pass. <laughs> I guess we'll do that. I'm going to hold off on taking mana feed till later, I hope. Get a couple of these guys down so I can do some uh, evoluting. The problem is, is I have both of my Zatus in my hand. So I can't even use Evoluter to Evolute them. But whatever, I guess I'll play one. We'll use the Evoluter to get at least... Yeah, whatever. I'm kind of not allowed to play that card, apparently. Meh! <laughs> Uh, yeah, see, I can't even, I can't, even, yeah, I'm choosing them. Yeah, somehow we just drew the wrong things, and that, and that's the way that goes. You know, that's just the way it is. We've got a couple of things going on. We're going to take an Ultra Ball next turn. This deck, oh, here comes, yeah, they're going to knock us out, too. Son of a. Crammer and don't play any energy. So that's going to make it a little harder for us. Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> okay, gang. So, being real here, I'm not real thrilled with how the Natu Zatu is performing. I think I'm going to switch to Bibberol. I was hoping to use the extra energy attachments you get with it. But And they get to attack right through the, uh, see? It doesn't matter. They don't care how many energies they have. 
He gets to attack for free. And he has no energy on him, so... This really doesn't matter because they're gonna have whatever they want, whenever they want. Really, really wanted to get the mana fee there, but I need the draw engine. I see none of that stuff really helps me that much. None of these guys are ever going to have any energy on them, so I'm going to be swinging at them forever. Literally, it's going to take me two shotting them, unless I put another energy on myself. Which I can do. Giovanni's charisma becomes completely useless. They're gonna hit us again. I'm trying to find mana feet. Well, at least I made that a well, at least a three shot. Yeah, see, crushing hammer. What are we gonna use that on? Nothing. We can't use any of the cards in our hand right now. They're all useless. Now my guess is, is they're going to come up with the Greninja. They're going to have enough uh, cards in the Lost Zone to use a Mirage Gate. And they're going to whack this guy and they're going to whack this guy. Or excuse me. Yeah, they're going to whack both of these. You watch. That's what they're going to do. Yep, this will be the card number seven in the Lost Zone. So Mirage Gate becomes active. <coughs> they need one Water G. What? I can't even talk anymore. One Water Energy in their hand. Then they'll need a Water and something else in the deck, a Mirage Gate, and some way to switch guys. And they'll be able to take out both my Aspartha and my Flittle. They're going to be able to do it anyway. Watch this. This will be great, guys. This is how you play this. This is why I wanted to take Mana Feed. Here comes the energies back in their deck. This deck always has it. Lost Box is amazing. It plays... It always has it. It has everything. Mirage Gate. Water and Dark, probably. Yep. Now another water energy will come down. You can't tell me they didn't have another water energy in their hand. Come on, I don't believe you. I don't believe a word of it. Okay, they got another Mirage again. Same thing. They'll put a water here and something else back here on one of these guys. Nope, they didn't even bother. Okay, well... Oh, and there's Sableye to finish the game. Yep. So that'll take out that one and that one. They'll get three prizes. <sighs> yeah. There's no way to come back from that, gang. I just, there's nothing I can do. And they got out of the box a lot earlier than I did. Hey, good for them. All right. Let's go see if we can get one more game in before too long here. 
Andrew, I feel like I'm doing you a disservice. What do we get? Coins. Super rod. Ooh, I don't know. And a pack. Let's go. Doggy. Mander. Hey, Fonte. Dinky, dinky. Boogaloo. And a heat ram. Heat rod him. All right, whatever. We're going to change our deck. Now we're going to take that draw engine out, because that's terrible. We're going to go get Old Faithful. Hopefully this will perform a little better. The Beebs. The big Beebs. We're going to get that. We're going to put that in our deck. We're going to see how it goes. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Andrew does actually play Bibrel in his deck. So, he's probably already learned what we just learned. The Bibrel superior to his Go for six. Stop him. Oh my gosh, we won one. I'd love to go first. Thank you very much. <laughs> so you want a Manaphy out, do you? <laughs> Here you can start with it. <laughs> I'll do you one better and make it your only Pokemon. <laughs> yep. Here we go. What the heck am I playing against? Is that Ms. Dreviews? Hmm. Cool. Hey, at least we're hitting some different stuff on the casual today. That makes me happy. Almost makes me wonder if people are starting to test for the uh, post-rotation. Ah, that's good. I think they should be. Let's see what happens. They got all kinds of goodies going on, don't they? All right, how about some guys? That's not guys. Um, yeah, sure. Let's play that. That didn't work. Six fresh cards, please. What do you mean you play Flittle in this deck? <laughs> There's no Flittle. <laughs> it's not the Flittle you're looking for. <laughs> what are you going to do, huh? <laughs> I'm thinking I probably handed him through two Ms. Magiuses and a Bibarel now. Oh, Cosmon. There's the Bibarel. Cosmon. Hmm. That's interesting. I vaguely remember what it does, but not real good. Oh, there you go. That should be a Ms. Maggie is now. I don't know, it's a lie. I don't know it was a lie. I'm starting to remember this deck now. There's my buddy Squirrel. The old man Squirrel. Yeah, we gotta get rid of them. If he's got full health when I hit him, <laughs> I take eight damage counters. Um... Swing and a miss. Sorry, we got another bullet. Now 
Now. We're going to take a risk here, gang. Come on, Biebs. Provide. Of course not. <laughs> but we got more battle VIP pass. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> I was playing a game at Gamer Sanctum one day, gang. Didn't get a battle VIP pass turn one. I had all four of them in my hand turn two. <laughs> what are you going to do, right? <laughs> That's what it is. So we got the crushing hammer to work. Take away their energy or front man. And they did not get another one. Finally, we got the rock has come back to. Come on. <laughs> I'm putting another one down. I don't care. Oh, this is going to work out great. This is really going to work out good, gang. I'm not going to lie. Sure. Let's see, look at here. Now we hit him for 60. The only way you can put eight damage counters on us when we knock it out is if we hit it from zero damage on it to fully knocked out. He now needs three energies to attack, I believe. Well, at least two, let's just say it that way. I think we got him. I think we got him. Can't be sure, but I think we got him. Hmm. Yeah, let's play. Will you play that already, you big dummy? Um, no. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah. All right, let's KO it. Let's do it. We shouldn't have to take the eight damage counters because he didn't have full health. Sometimes a 60 HP attack is good. <laughs> I kind of figured they were going to try that. That's why I grabbed the switch. I can smell it coming, chat. <laughs> Who this chat is that everybody talks to? I never understood. Hmm. The bad news is they just happen to counter Frontman and our stadium all at the same time and bossed up our guy that we didn't want up front. Then they went Squirrel Berserk. Nest stashing. Hmm. Yep, they're trying to soften us up for the Cosmong and whatever that thing is called. No, it's Lunala. That's it. Um. Really don't want to own them. Yeah, I do, maybe. I need another stadium card. I'm gonna go try digging for another stadium. That stadium's dumb. But that guard's much better. Well, that wasn't it. <laughs> God dang it. Ah! Oh, and now I do enough damage to KO in one shot, so I take eight damage counters back. 
That's terrific. Well, it was a good plan. Not as good of a plan anymore. <laughs> We're still going to try it. Please tell me that Iono did something to their hand that slows them down. Of course not. We gave him Rare Candy Lunala! Might have to switch those cards to Judge. Because Iono's a lie! The good news is about a double Bibarel Skullvet engine is you can cycle through like half of your deck or better every turn. So that's really good. You get everything you need, you know what I mean? We don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> now they've shuffled their deck, so that changes that around. You need more energy to attack, my friend. Yep. And you still need more energy to attack. Hmm. Guess I get any other bright ideas. It ain't gonna hurt me to I own them right now, because. Yeah, no. And there's League HQ, baby. I really don't need this dumb thing anymore. So let's just, uh, oh yeah, I can't put it on him. We'll put it there. So let's go see what Beebs has got. Besides almost no more cards. Apparently I don't have anything in this card pile to throw away or to get back. Well, that sucks. All right. We got to be a little more careful now. We can't really be drawing any more cards. Because we still have four prizes to take. We only have six cards left in our deck. Now, the good news is that if they ever do throw anybody away. Oh, look at that. They got other Mr. Idiots. Oh, look at that. They got a counter catcher. Unbelievable. How do they pull everything out of their butt? Now we have to find a switch. And we've already used both of them. The good news is, is we put an energy on our Bibro. So we only need to attach one more to retreat. And this guy, we can KO very easily. We don't have to take any damage counters with him. So we're going to have to do that. Bonus tokens. And yeah. I'm going to wait to use that. We'll KO this one. <coughs> so that's three down. Now I bet they're going to rock sand. And that's fine. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this thing does, like, a whole bunch of damage to everybody. Sure, whatever. One thirty and 30 to 2 bench. And, of course, he's got that. But does he need a fourth energy to attack? He should, right? 130 and 30 to one of your opponents. So he's got to be digging for, a, for a, a boss or an escape rope or a counter catcher. Otherwise, this thing really helps us out a lot. This triple energy it's on here. 
And they, okay, so they do Lunar Pain. Oh, it doubles everybody's damage on the bench? It doubles everybody's damage. One, three, four. Huh. They just took the lead. And the worst part about that is that makes our energy less useful. Now, yeah, Lunar Pain takes... See? Okay, so it takes three energies and I have that. But now they don't have it anymore. I don't think there's anything left in our deck for people. Gonna do now. I can't loot or paint again because they're ahead in prizes. Stinks we had to throw all of our counter catchers away turn one or turn two or whatever it was. Wait, where are they? There they are. I mean, they can't swing at us right now, as far as I know. Because this only counts as one energy when they're ahead. So we'll be able to KO this thing, which will tie it, and they still can't swing with this guy. They can do 20 to everybody with him. But that ain't going to be enough. We've still got two big guns out. Plus, I've got the Mew I'm going to start building, if I have enough energy. They took my Super Rod away. And there it is. Let's go play Super Rod. Just so we have a few more cards to draw in our deck. I'm going to start powering up Mew. And we're going to KO this thing. Now this is one place that I wish I had a boss's order in this deck, and it may be a place to, something we need to put in. There is a useful card right now. Battle VIP Pass. You can use it turn one. Let's go. Wait, it's not turn one. Um, might have to switch them out completely and play Nuts Ball. Not that those would really be helping all that greatly right now either, but... Even if they rare candy this guy up to Cosmonin or whatever, Lunala, Lunala. There it is. There's the rare candy Lunala. Which can't, you can't attack me. Yeah. Is that the Evoluter? Is that the D Evoluter? That's the D Evoluter we lose. Yeah, we need Manaphy in that matchup. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's why we learn, right, gang? Come on, do things. They conceded? They had just won the game. Okay, I guess we win. <laughs> Goes to show you how Manaphy can be so important in things, gang. All right, that's it. Well, I'm going to get out of here. I got some other stuff I got to get done, including getting back to work instead of playing around. So like, share, subscribe, ring it in the bell notification, comment below, let me know what you think of this deck. Andrew, big shout out to you for giving me the inspiration to play this deck. And of course, a big shout out to Gamer Sanctum and Cooley Cards and Gaming, sponsors of the channel. We thank you both. Uh, I played the big purple ostrich and you can do it too. See you next time, gang. Bye now!